useful. It should be in tools. In your inventory tools and then like right right above the grease section. I'm gonna put my thing down so. The, where the it's right next are? to the statue. The weapon greasy? Or are you talking to him? I mean I'm talking about my uh summoning sign that should be showing up any second now. Oh nice. <laughs> Dead marionette. <laughs> That's great. You just pretend to be a a dead enemy that like, leaned up against a wall or something. <laughs> and then you can uh, dodge roll to get out of it quick. The future effort. <laughs> yeah, like, that would be completely unsuspect. I mean, you'd have to kind of put it in, the, in a spot where one of those guys is. Or it would look out of place. Hey, what's the item called again? I might have it. Called Mimic Veil? I can, I can show you in my... Would it be under key items? It's in tools. It's tools. right above the, the section with three. This item in here. Right above fire pots? Oh, I don't have it. Oh, I don't know where the fuck you get it. I've literally followed this guy. Well, I guess I missed it. It's, um... I thought it was that chest that I showed you. You're no. like, no, I got that chest. But I did yeah, get that it chest. That, it is in that chest. I just looked it up. Maybe I missed it then. I don't know. I guess I yeah, gotta go back or something. I don't even remember what chest you're talking about, so you're gonna have to I'll join my game and show me or something. Wait, 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 wait. Did you go through the door I found over there? I found a door in the cliff face down down the way. It yeah, literally, the, the thing's literally, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, thing's literally down. going to it. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Oh, I haven't been there, so I might say maybe you guys can help me with that in a minute. We're trying to get him to the respec area. True. And then we can do, he can help me with my game, because I'm actually a lower level than him. I'm not actually sure if he's going to invade. There. Oh, get the grace. Oh, he might not spawn in multi. Hey, we should go to the um, Mage City after he can respec, so we can uh, give him a really cool one-handed sword that he can use with the tower shield. I was thinking like that whip one would be good because then it's also range. You only want to use spear tower. Yeah, uh, interacting with the side of grace by the shack will cause him to evade the player. So. Oh, you may miss this NPC if you rest it. Oh no, got picks. Never mind. So I think we ha we can't be in the game when you uh, summon him. Okay. You have to no, he's not missable. They there was a bug where he was missable, but they fixed it. But um, you have to interact with this Grace to be able to or to summon him. Well, to re-summon him, you, you have, have to, to do it again. Him, but you can't do it while we're in the game. Yeah, all right. So. We might have to. Uh, you can you can uh, summon us right here after you interact with the Grace again. Hopefully. Well, I don't know if it'll let him summon us during the combat. Yeah. Um, you might be just able to like use... the other time. I think you just have to beat it. Yeah. You might be able to use uh, um, spirit. Yes, that's. Uh, I believe that's how it works. I guess I'll make sure that he isn't spawned for me. What was it called? The, he's at the shack or? Revengers shack. Okay, I'll go there and see if anything shows up. I'm pretty sure we already killed him on your. You already killed him. Oh, yeah. That's the father of the guy. I don't know if you saw that uh, blind girl on the side of the road. Like, really early in the game. No, not her. Uh, back in the Urnia. You went to like the southern peninsula. There was a girl, and then you went to see her father in a castle where you get the sword of swords. Okay, well, it's her father. She dies and gets angry, and I don't know why you really invade the the girl. It's not really important. They're not really alive for very long. So. 
Oh, uh, you probably want to stay away. Like a more powerful version of the enemy. I'm going towards that door, Nick. If you want to get summoned, or the same with the Robo. You should, you should help get to the boss. Yeah, I know. I've got a bunch of souls, though, so I need to spend them once I get just a little bit more souls. Ends Grace or whatever. The roads end catacombs. I'm gonna summon you guys here. Alright, I uh, put the thing down. Nick, are you gonna head there so I can summon you? Um, yeah, I guess. Give me a sec. I can't really teleport when there's anything wrong with me. Oh, that's a pretty good shield. It's got really high magic resistance and. Let's good check it against. Well. Yeah, check it against the. Alright, give me back my shield then. When you Probably join, rejoin. It's the best shield in like the early and mid game, the jellyfish one. Alright, well, I put down the. Uh... Grace, or I mean, I'm at the Grace inside the door. I have to go over there because I don't have the. I didn't go there on my. Or on this character, I mean. What the hell does a cursed blood do? I think it's a crafting item? No, I know, but what does it do? I, I have it. And you sure you can't enchant and... Well, it should show up soon then. Yeah, there we go. And you sure you can't enchant and um, use blood grease on a weapon? I'm pretty sure one of them, whichever one you use second, will override the first one. Okay, well, I can test that, actually. I can use frost, gr freezing grease after I use uh, my flame ability. It'll either overwrite or it won't let you use the second one. I'm not sure which of the two. It overwrites. Okay, now we know. Yeah, uh, drop the shield. Go into your inventory and your, like, shields, and then select it and press leave. Don't discard. See it soon. What's your um, best melee weapon right now, like upgraded wise? Yeah, how much uh, upgrades do you have on it? Like a plus, plus four. Darn, I can't give you one of my flails then. It's like plus six, and the other one's plus eleven.
Oh, it's in the menu. No wonder I couldn't attack. Weird looking golem thing, though. I haven't faced that enemy before. How oh, cool the shield see through. Which is true. I do kind of look like a faith knight. Oh, you just lost connection. I'll see you back by the grace. I'll stop uh, streaming, I guess. <laughs> That's a perfect one. Where the fuck can I get that, Nick? <laughs> uh, it's quite a bit later in the game, I think. Oh, fuck, you should spam that one all the time. I thought I showed that to you last time. No, you've not shown me that one. I have not I seen that one. Yeah, that's fucking creepy. Uh, Doesn't quite a, it, the deep voice sells it. It's not quite as creepy as the. Uh, You're beautiful. And then you follow it up by my beloved. <laughs> <laughs> or no, you start with that one and then go. Yeah, it's good either way. Oh shit! Uh, I really can't uh, die in here now. That I thought about it. think about it. I've got thirty four k souls. Well, it's an easy dungeon. Okay. I'm thinking about putting my next stat in um, strength <laughs> or vigor. Yeah, it won't take long to do this. Mm -hmm. Same with uh, Nyx. So we should have it really down by then. I don't. I don't need the item. What? Why? Because uh, don't need them. Okay. goes over here? No? Down below. Kind of over here. Yeah, you should be playing your mage class so we got like a mage between us. Oh nice. Yeah, the imp heads give bonus stats. I'm not sure which one the cat gives. Well, when, when we face the boss though, you gotta play your, your mage so you can use the moon spell on her while she's casting the moon spell. <laughs> I feel like you think you're hot shit, don't you? I knew that was a hidden wall, I didn't even need to read those. What do I get? Some soldiers. Really, is that fucking it? That's trash. It's gotta be another item or some shit. There's another hidden wall. Somewhere. I forget where. I think it's back in the previous one. Oh, right. It's trapped in there. Uh I think only the host can break those. And you got the cat too. Oh, I got his forked hatchet too. Some human bone shards, nice. In case you get hungry later, they're like people chips. The cat gives oh, I got the uh, got the watchdog staff, which is that weapon that summons that uh, spell attack that actually can't be countered with the spell shield. Jeff, hit this I learned that from video. Oh, there's another one. There's like seven it's walls in here. It's one of these fucking walls. We can't break them. Okay, uh, it's none of these. They don't work. None of them opened here. So where to? Knack. I'm fucking reading the tutorial, dude. Yeah. Oh, is it? Is it there? Uh -huh. oh, 
went. Gotta be in that. You ran off alone. You walked through the same in that room that we were just. So let's continue along the narrow path. Maybe it's talking about the. use this probably for a long ass oh, time. Some roots. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Is there even oh my god. You just roll into them by the way, you don't have to hit them. Good to know. Oh jeez. Alright. Well, everybody boof up. It's a, no, it's a fucking whip ass boss. Well, I mean, it's a good habit. Alright, bro. I did the wrong order of that, but whatever. Ouch. Is he fighting me with a goddamn candlestick? Over here. Or that guy, you can't kill him. Oh. See this glowy light right here? Yeah. Back it. Back it a bunch. This? I think it's that light. Yep. The fucking, in it's a fucking invisible fucking snail. It's like as a ghost warrior. Spirit color. What a douchey snail. Where's that light at? Oh, here it is. Fucking snail, piece of shit. Yeah, like the way you die. Okay. Um, is there anything else in here? Do I return to the top now? There's probably some root resin on the ground somewhere. You should probably just... I think I picked it up. Alrighty then, I guess I'll uh, return to the entrance and one of you guys can summon me. Kind of want to use that giant red axe that I showed you, Jeff, because it has scarlet rot damage. Uh, sounds pretty fun in case we get invaded. It's really good for cheese and bosses, too. Mm hmm. Nice. It's good for blood it. stack too. It doesn't affect blood, but it um does basically it's like OP poison. Mm -hmm. Strong poison. It lasts a lot longer. So what is dexterity really is just for dexterity scaling weapons? It's dex scaling weapons, it's also casting speed. Hmm. Um, Interesting. So more dex will make you cast quicker. I think probably something else as well. On my head. I just, I just decided to just level up my health again. It's always safe. All right, my thing's down. Time to go with the pussy build. You mean your normal build? No, it's my fear great shield build. If you, have a, if you use a spear, you can just hold block the great shield and stab without lowering block. Or with any shield, actually. I wish it showed you exactly what weight would make you go overweight. 70%. So, gotta eyeball it. Quick math. Mm.
funnily enough, this is actually my best shield. Alright, Robo, we are here to aid you. And what? This shield looks pretty cool, man. No, but like, it's just so tiny. <laughs> Isn't it anger on it, you do? Uh, fine. Is that like the longest range weapon? No. It's, it's just, just a long range pike. Why don't you have it be the cool looking lance? I almost gotcha. That could be useful. Uh, that the special attack that I'm using also uh, deals health. As well, want to go down first, I guess. Yeah, go down get the abs. Yeah, don't forget there's a hidden door on this floor, too. Okay, oh yeah, this is a really nice strong attack, too. Well, we can go to the end first. The end. Hey, where'd we get the uh, upgraded weight thing? Not the final level one, but just the upgraded one. I lended him my low tier one. Which one? Yeah, now, there's about. a greatly increased one, but not the one that massively increases it, that I have to kill those pot dudes for. Uh, you get it from getting to a certain point in the Barbarian Chicks questline. Okay. Another fork tagit. Now I could dual wield them if I really gave a shit. They're not great weapons. And I know I said if I really gave a shit. I'm using this one handed right now, too. Just, I don't know. That was me. Thanks for tanking it for me, though. Not upgraded at all, and it's uh, damage. That's that upgrade. cool lightning thing, though. get the souls from hitting it uh, after it dies but before the body falls to the ground. This weapon gives souls whenever you hit an enemy. Mm. So you've said. I just don't like how it looks. There's other ones but this gives the most souls per hit. Mm. From these weird hippie girl hippie chicks that like dance around laughing like the ex. Mm. I haven't met him. Bill. Would have uh, remembered that. No, they're, they're not just plateaus, so you don't have them. Yeah. Mm. Might as well, right, Nick? Just drop everything.
Alrighty then. Uh, I guess we help him take that city now. Yeah. All right, you gotta send him this robo. Shoot him a screenshot of where he needs to go. You got the most map. I'm gonna go. Um, not have to say great. I'm gonna go upgrade my grand sacks. I think it's good against dragons. <laughs> Do you have anything unlocked in the uh, sort of middle of the western section of the lake? Yeah, I think it's pretty far north on that ridge on the side. Are we gonna meet at like the uh, Lucaria Gate or? He's still trying to get the uh, map piece for that. Not for half of the clear man. Okay, well, it shows you on the map where you need to go to get the map piece. Yes, yeah, it's really far north. Alright, well, I'm chilling at the gate. I guess I'll go kill some dudes in town. guys and try to get the horn.
Hey, you got the ammo in mind. Well, Nick, while he's doing his thing, can you help me uh, fight those arrow giants again? I'll try and kill this stupid fucking blood guys. I'm killing those arrow giants right now. You know, to get the uh, buff item.
I got both the uh, bow giants at the cost of my horse and some HP. Is Not going to room. Bow giant? There's two. There's two halberd giants. No, two. There's. I'm not talking about that area. I don't remember even how to get there. Right. I'm talking about those two bow giants right before the giant pot that gives you the uh, increased equipment load. Oh man, almost. I almost got one of them or all three? Uh, I almost got all three. Nice. I'll try again. Well, you could join and uh, buff me right before the fights. <laughs> Hardly seems worth it. Oh, you an attack buff. I guess you could help me kill the giants in the front without me losing HP. Where do you want to? I put the summit down in the pathway, where we usually end up having it. Kind of the end of the last of the ball dudes. Just so we're clear, you're not putting anything down because. Uh... It's an item that lets you see the other I know. But where you put it down is not really your fault. I mean, the finger remedy, just, just, I mean, you put it down in the same spot at the end of where all the ball things are. Try and attempt this one more time, though. Or, well, you gotta make your way to the city, anyways. I'm. Uh, yeah. I'm, yeah. Um, like, I've missed a bunch I probably just didn't know I didn't even know about. You're probably best off looking at the wiki, because it's not really something that I can easily like, list off for you. So we can get the NPC quest. Yeah, that one's uh, kind of important. It uh, crosses over with two other quests. You're on. Uh, you just, I believe, go to 
Fort Height, which is in Limgrave. Uh, you clear it out. You clear it out. Okay. Um, when you go back and talk to him, he should give you, I think, an earth steel knife thing along those lines. Okay. Uh, then you should go back to Fort Height, and he'll be there. Uh, and there's a bunch of what are they called? The weird like mutant things that are that took over, and you have to clear it out again, and then find him at the very top. Talk to him again. You just go back to Fort Height after you've uh, cleared it out the first time. Talk to him. Then there'll be stuff there again. You have to clear out once more. Back to Fort Height. I'm forgetting what demi humans, I think they're called. Jeff, are you going to sign on me? I thought I did. It just didn't go. It did. God. Nice. You got two of those? No, I only have one. Oh well. Can you uh, lead the way? Draw his fire. I don't remember doing that much damage to you before. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe it was a headshot. Begin my search post haste for a true and s oh, he's looking for an heir. Okay, um, yeah, you need to progress to the first line. I don't know how to do that either. Uh, check the wiki for exactly how I can't fully remember. Oh yeah, you have to do uh, a different quest line in. Oh, I'm ahead. Barrel, God. You have to do a different quest line in near the lakes. Uh, I can send you where to go shortly after we kill this enemy. Uh, but you basically have to invade people three times for the quest line. It doesn't matter if you kill them; you just have to invade them. Yeah. Guys, like, hey, do you want to be part of my order of people that fuck shit up? Of course, I get invaded. Deal with him, Nick, while I go collect my souls. Yeah. Just stand here in the center of the path and just start beating your chest or something. Or you can climb up that fucking root and look really badass. Uh, no, you just have to invade three times. You can even, like, use the finger sever and leave, I'm pretty sure. I don't think oh, yeah. I've done that yet. Yeah, that what was the one I was going to play. Uh, we're playing Elden Ring. Oh, okay. It, that all makes sense now. I've been streaming, you could have been peeking in. Yeah, yeah. I was doing something else. I've been hearing y'all's conversation without context. <laughs> trying to figure out, trying to piece together what game y'all playing. I'm like, man, this sounds great. It's like some sort of uh, RPG game. Yeah, that's what it is. Yes, deal with him, Nick. Smite him. Smite he's, him. He's squishy as fuck. <laughs> yes. Give him a health check. Oh, he's using that... Oh, vigor God. check. He failed his vigor check, Nick. Alright, you may now return to your own world. I'm gonna summon Wait, these on, guys. I'm gonna go buff you real quick. 
Oh yeah, good call. You're about to witness me loaf die for like the 50th time against these three enemies. Oh. For like the 50th fucking time. I think all of us look badass as fuck, except maybe the jellyfish shield. <laughs> Alright, see you later, Nick. Have your thing. Yep. Alright. Okay, my time is. Now. My time is now. Unlimited power awaits. Um, did you talk to that guy in the. Like, very beginning of the game, right after you leave the crypt, there was a guy standing out pretty close to the entrance. Do you remember that guy? Robo? Do you remember the guy that was standing outside of the crypt entrance at the very beginning of the game? Um, so you have to... Oh, fuck. I thought it was a quick. You have to go find him in... Is that a player you're fighting? No. No. Um, but Nick thinks they're based off player bills. Yeah, I think they're NPCs that they pull from commonly used builds. No, fuck. He got me. Is this, they just do so much stupid damage. It's ridiculous. I like how he killed you and then gave you blood loss. Yeah, All right, well. so in order to get uh, further in the quest line, you have to go back to the tutorial area, which you can only get to from... Uh, White face bears quest line. Yeah, I'll send you the dot. So you have to go to the Rose Church. Yeah. Oh wait, he disappeared. Oh these guys. I fucking hate these guys. Wait. Oh wait. So you have you haven't found the Rose Church? Okay. So I, I just sent you a screenshot of the roaster. Not where it's looking. Yeah. There's a kind of annoying enemy that will invade uh, when you enter the rose church, but I believe if you just walk through the front. Um, Var should be in front of it, and you don't have to deal with that enemy. Annoying bleed build guy. Those arrows are so fucking huge. Oh, uh, I'll put my sign down again. I feel like if we took took a uh, robot here, we'd just instantly kill him. Stay away from those guys, they will fucking snipe you with one try. They've got deadly accuracy. Very high damage. Has he uh, reached the, um... Place we need to reset his specs for him. Still ways out. Ah, there you are. You claimed a great room and had your audience with the two uh, fingers. Fuck me. All right, here we go again. Let's see, what am I facing what? this time? It's random every What's time. Oh god, somebody with a fucking scythe. Somebody with fucking sword, double swords. Uh, they were magnificent. I don't think it matters actually, but you don't but say. Sure. Well, what a relief that must be. You may go then. My work here is done. May the wisdom of the two fingers guide you. Oh, is something wrong? Or it was. I don't think. I think you could. 
Uh, did you not do anything when you said they seem, uh, they were magnificent? Um, I think he actually doesn't like the two fingers. I think he's part of the three fingers faction, but... Aha! Say they didn't Your seem right, like, oh, so serves you well. have the intuition. My doubts had been piling up, you see. There's a whole the thing of, like, the two, two fingers, fingers guiding people to sort of reclaim the world from, uh... Delusions. The demigods. I believe the three fingers like when the Elden now the two Ring fingers was shattered, stupid. They got like the one less finger. The were corrupted. Their They're guidance idiots. skewed. Even worse, Sorry. the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's More the exposition. part that irks the most. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. <laughs> Means for circumventing the draw. I wish Jesus one. I always fuck this up. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, uh, you just need to get we the meet again. Called. I've high hopes for you. Lord of Blood's favor. My lamb king. Item from him. Okay, so then you need to invade three times. Doesn't matter if you kill them. Uh, you need to do it. And then, uh, oh wait, hold on. Do you even need to? Yeah. Wait, no, you've already invaded three times. He gave you the Lord of Blood's favor. Or did he, did he give you that or not? He just give you the fingers? Okay, so yeah, invade three times and then talk to him again. And he'll give you the Lord of Blood's favor. Oh my god, that fucking... <sighs> it's definitely based off fucking players' builds. It has to, because some of these NPCs are psychotic. I should have guys stabbed himself with dual swords that are both causing, that just cause ludicrous amounts of blood. The Sanfuku, yeah. Yeah, what's up with them having all these fucking quest items? Bullshit. Sanfuku is just a uh, weapon art you can get put on anything. It causes your weapon to have the blood of loss effect, I think. Uh, yeah. That's why he did it, because it gave his weapons OP buffs. Yeah, it gives you increased attack power and increased blood loss damage. I wonder if it stacks with the other buff too. So I should get it on. I can't get it on this thing, I guess. have to wait a while because there's not always people in your level range that are invadable in the area. It also depends on where you're at, where you are. So if you move um, towards like the center of the lake, I think that's where a lot more people are located. I 
God damn it, all these NPCs look way fucking cooler than me. <laughs> there might be more that are like outside of the level range for invasion for you. It's like plus or minus a certain number of levels. I'm not entirely sure I don't really do invasion all that much. Oh shit, that's got a lot of range. You could also like activate one and just kind of work your way through. Um, oh, I only have two fucking health potions left to fight two of them. Fuck. Activate a finger and then work your way through like uh, carrying manor area. Uh, so you know where you got the map piece? Uh, there should be a grace. I think it's called Northern Laernia Lakeshore. Uh, if you just keep going northeast, keep like going up the ridge, follow the path, um, you'll eventually get to a big mansion area with a bunch of crawly hand things. Game freeze. My computer freeze. Damn it, I should have just healed, but whatever. Wasn't probably gonna win that with the level of uh, flasks I had left. Hey Nick, do you think you could boof me one more time? I think I've almost got it. I keep getting to like the last guy, but then dying to him in like one combo. I mean, the buff is just a physical damage buff, it only lasts for 60 seconds. Mm. You try using some shrimp, I think. I don't know if I have any shrimp left. You can go buy more. It, it raises your damage resistance.
Oh, is that a mini gaping dragon? Has he uh, reached like the gate yet and stuff? The um, place to reset his stats. He's going up to the. He's going up to Carrion Manor. Just generally best to do quests in an area before you finish the area. That's not what we did. The rebirth. Well, it is. We did That's the whole thing. That's sick helmet. Um, there you, if you're going to Carrion Manor, then you're going the right way to well, do uh, Ronnie's quest. And also, you. um... We don't receive probably, many visitors. There's probably some people that are around here in the range you there as well. Tarnished? What brings you here? Oh, pardon me. It's hardly my place to ask, is it? I am E.G. A blacksmith who once served the Karian royals. An old cod. Oh, come on. Seriously? Well, there's no way I can fucking beat that. So here I am. Still uh, it's based off players, and I was wondering why this one didn't have a weapon. Sorry, I was wondering why this guy didn't have, like, a weapon, but he's got fucking faith build. He literally one-shot me with dragon breath. And the jar buffs their fucking health. Oh, watch out there. When You're I'm fucking dead, cancer. I lose sight of all else. If you come I guess all I can do is hope that I get a dude harm. that's got a shitty build. I am, after all, terribly large compared to you, Tarnished. You don't know how hard it is not to break anything while I work. Brave Tarnished. A word of warning, if you please. This territory once belonged to the Karian royal family. Their manor lies not far beyond this point. When the Rhea Lucari Academy turned on the Karians, the Knights of the Cuckoo descended on this tract. After leveling it, they carried on to the manor. The Karians were taken off guard, but their strength had not waned, and they repelled the Knights' onslaught by conjuring an enchanted snare that remains potent to this day. That is why I say, Tarnished, don't go near the manor, unless you wish to lie with the corpses of the heedless knights of the Cuckoo. I've explained the peril of the enchanted snare that remains at the Royal Carrion Manor. Whatever you do, Brave Tarnished, stay away from that death trap. Oh yeah, he's a blacksmith. He can like upgrade stuff for you. Uh, he's friendly to you. Blythe actually did that. Did he? Quite. Yeah, either way, he's friendly, but for Blade is one of his so friends, he, so he's slightly more friendly. Perhaps he sensed something unusual about you. At any rate, if you're friendly with Blythe, I've something else that might suit you. Oh, I got another Golem Great Bow, so I can give that to you now. Robo, if you want a giant bow. Or, I guess you said you already had it. <laughs> 